Hey guys, Dr. Superman here. Welcome back to another episode of Star Drive 2 United Federations campaign. Um, okay, what did I want to do? Oh yeah, finish researching disruptor cannons and then I'm sending my carriers uh, nowhere. Okay, that's good. I don't want my carriers moving anywhere. You guys just hold position. And then I'm going to be building another Wells class carrier number two. Probably another one after that. And then build some corvettes here. And then I'll attack the Volfars to give me a little bit of room to expand, most importantly. Fish a colony ship at Katok. Very, very nice. Okay, where is that? We went to colonize this medium tundra planet. Now, um, if you colonize planets where you are, if you colonize a new planet where you already control the system, you don't actually get an expansion penalty. So we want to take advantage of that. Uh, right now. And even though, uh, I, well, only if you can offer me something. I don't really want ion beams, but perhaps there's something else you could offer me. Maybe you can give me some money. The also kind of prefer money over Ion beans, but then I gotta kinda want it anyways. Um, just so I could get rid of this later when I get the Xeno Assimilation and start attacking people for their techs. <coughs> Excuse me, it's not a very useful tech right now, but whatever. Anyways, uh, of course, in our starting planets, we're gonna be on an automated rover bay. And then we wanna do this mission here with our soldiers. Just kidding, I need more freighters before I can... Before I can, um, build any... Any, um, factories. Need more freighters to transfer my food. Disruptor can's done, so my fires are gonna be very strong now. We can now research some, uh, miscellaneous things. I guess we want to work on orbital habitat so I can start expanding most of my planets. Uh, freighter fleet will be done next turn. Great, and then another Wells class carrier. Probably want another one after that. Rubber bay done on my belt. Uh, this plant here isn't gonna be that useful, but you know what? It's just around for the resource, and it's not a very expensive planet. We finished the star base here. We're gonna the fleet academy now on Esselus. Okay, and then we'll start work pumping out corvettes there. I have 576 monies from. Killing that crystal feet fleet earlier. We can use that for whatever purposes. Okay. Hmm. I don't think so. Yeah, okay, let's assault this criminal ship. We get 75 RP for energy and physics, and then uh, we'll get improved relationships with Volfar 250 BCs. Sounds good. Now, I think this mission could be a little difficult, if I recall correctly. Yeah, there's a bunch of melee bears, as you can see. Might make things a bit tricky. We still want to drop a few shields, though. There it. Right. And these guys are gonna just bunzai towards us. That, that's the main problem. And yeah, I can only fire with one person. So you're going to have to tank for a bit, quite unfortunately. The rest of us, let's just start shooting this bear. Actually, I think you're dead next turn, no matter what. Oh well. Uh. Hmm. Now we get two more shots on him. We'll kill him eventually. Hopefully. Yeah, we need to kill this bear for sure. 
That's just a matter of tanky. Or actually, uh, killing this bear down here. There we go. Now we want to kill this guy. Okay, this one isn't that strong. He he just has a uh, like his little low kick shenanigans. I don't really care about that. Keep moving. There we go. And I'll just heal you up. You could take a little bit for me. So we probably will lose um, only one soldier for this mission, but the rewards are always worth it. Who still has a med kit? You have a med kit. Alright. So I need one more shot, unfortunately. He's in their med kit here. Okay, perfect. He decides like, to heal up. Awesome. So yeah, that was a bit more difficult since we actually had to lose the soldier. I bet there are ways to do it uh, with, the, with the basic tech and without losing a soldier, but... Uh, actually, if I put the sh if I align myself so I block the bear on the bottom and then tank the one on top, it might, might be able to not lose anyone. Oh well, food for thought in the future. Let's bring you guys back home. And now we got a ridiculous amount of money. Um, the only main threat is the Vofar. I'm not too worried about the Cortazine because they'd have to go through this wormhole uh, to be able to attack me. Got our explorer ready now. Uh, I guess I can send you out here. We'll try to explore around the Vofar. Prepare for our attack. Maybe I'll just rush my fleet academy here since I have the money. And queue up a few of these. Okay. Just so I'm not wasting any any um, inefficiency to that. Could rush out a carrier. Sure, why not? I got the money. What's the purpose of money if you're not gonna use it, right? All right, orbital habit had eight turns, nothing else of importance to note. Kinda of funny, my ultra poor planet is <laughs> one of my main producers just because how big it is. Okay, uh, I couldn't merge these. I'll probably finish another soldier in a second, and then they will be ready to invade the Vofar. Okay, so that's all the carriers I need. Then I can start working on a, re a pollution reprocessor here. And then on this planet, uh, I keep working on Corvettes. Yeah, exactly, that's what I want to do. I think I need to assign you back to production. All right. Why are you guys starving here? Oh, it's because I'm making some, I'm not making enough food. There you go. Perfect. On Earth, after this, I probably don't need so many producers. I can get more scientists. There we go, look at that. A lot more science. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to defend against those masters no matter what. That's quite unfortunate, but what am I supposed to do? I don't want to lose my fleet to them. Let's load up another um, soldier. Upgrade. Red shirts. And load. There we go. I got six soldiers now. I could start colonizing some of, no, none of these. These are all poor planets. Um, I don't really want to expand yet. I could colonize, <laughs> recolonize this planet and then this planet as well. The ancient and androids could be useful. I recolonize this one. Um, I guess I really just have to explore, to be honest, if I want more planets. I should build, what's this? Okay, I, I don't got time to explore all this at the moment. Oh, and they're a scout, if anything. Alright, uh, Imperial Banks, I get some more money. Sounds like a good tech to research. 
or brain palace since I actually have a lot of scientists now. That's another crap planet. I'll just send my scout to, um, yeah, let's, let's explore these, um, non-core worlds first. Disruptor Kent, you don't have enough to offer me for that, but you do have Imperial University, which I would like. Uh, maybe I could give you something like Fighter Bay, which I don't really care about. Because the AI, I, I don't believe this AI uses Fighter Bays that much. Maybe it could give you some money as well, too. Uh, we want to rush a few more of these Corvettes out. Okay, perfect. And then you guys can start working on a uh, orbital habitat. Okay, and now we're going to start invading the Vofar. Um, I think I'm going to go to this objective first. That's only because if I go this way, I'll probably run out of fuel. But then again, this is, the, this is their capital, right? So if I wanted to, I, I should just bum rush straight to their capital. This, is that, this actually would be the closest point. Never mind, we'll go this way. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Oh yeah, we definitely want these artifacts later. Research lab, and then a starbase here next. Where are you building here? You're still working on a research lab. Um, afterwards, maybe a colonizer, or sorry, a... Um, an explorer. And in t on Earth, I think I'm almost maxed out, right? In, uh, okay, 46 turns. I need the Colony Bay before I'll get more maxed out, but I think I can move a few people over here. Uh, get this planet a jump start. Take a look at this planet. Uh, this is this planet I don't really care about too much, just to grab the artifacts. Hostile fleets. Oh, hi, Cortezine. Just kidding, someone wants to attack me first. Because I didn't pay tribute. Wow, they got a pretty big fleet. Okay, uh... I'll like build a... Maybe try to get out another Corvette then. This is what happens if you don't pay tribute to bullies. They attack you. What a shame. I'm gonna lose my... I might lose my star base on Earth. I can't really do anything against his uh, masters. Maybe I should stop pissing off the Vofars now. They, they actually like me quite a bit. Kind of interesting enough. But they don't have any text or anything to offer me. Just out of curiosity. Maybe, should, maybe I should just trade with them for a bit because I don't think I'm going to attack them for quite a long while. And I wouldn't mind the extra money. Oh, never mind. I'm not going to be able to tolerate it. Okay, guys, prepare to defend. Uh, I should be able to win this fight with my carriers. Actually, put all my carriers together, and then I can. Um, I'll just sweep by on the right flank. I don't want my carriers moving, but I just do that so it's easier to grab everything, dodge some shots. They're launching uh, their missiles at my fighters, interesting enough. I'm just going to run away. No point fighting them straight on, just let them waste some time chasing my fighters. As I whack them with my own rockets and missiles from the back. Try to get behind their bigger ships. But I got all the time in the world. Well, maybe not all the time. I got plenty of time. Most of their ships are like frigates. Let's go launch a volley against them. Some of their ships here. I 
think like the big shots are like each fighter taking one singular rock. It's kind of funny, but whatever. Right, let's switch to our smaller ships. Uh, my fires aren't so good against all their frigates. We're gonna keep retreating. I think th this ship is basically disabled now in terms of. In terms of. Um, turning and using its engines. Dodge these rockets. Okay, let's go for this ship now. Actually, I could go for this frigate. Seems to be chasing me. Right, let's pick off another Corvette. Okay, actually, we, we should go on to these frigates. Kind of annoying. I would like to start taking a few of them out, but never mind. I like to just retreat again. Actually, the friggin' one of their friggin' died. You just need to focus on their friggin' with their starbase. Okay, now I can turn around again. Let's launch our Corvettes as well. Okay, good. Now we can start working on their larger ships. Let's go after an isolated one here. Okay, perfect. Our Corvettes are definitely proving to be quite a bit tanky on the front. Just keep analyzing where they're taking damage. Yeah, ma mainly in the front, so I'm glad I put the armor piece there. Actually, maybe I should take out this Corvette. Still launching a few missiles. It's kind of annoying. Okay, this carrier I'm going to retreat. It's taking quite a bit of damage. So I think in an actual battle, I'll be a bunch of hit and run tactics with my carriers. I'll just launch my fighters and try to retreat. So I think maybe in the newest patch, just going pure carriers isn't isn't perhaps the best idea anymore. Is that taking quite a bit of damage? Uh, it, with my fighters, or maybe it's just that Cortezine has a lot of anti-fighter weaponry that they like to use. So it could be a possibility. Okay, power's out on this ship. But this ship's out of ammo, it looks like. Or its weapons are disabled on this flank. Let's switch to this ship now. I don't know about rushing the Vofar anymore, especially since they're friendly to me. I might actually try to get an open borders treaty with them so I can refuel at their uh, planets and then attack the Cortezine instead. Might prove to be a bit better. Yeah, I don't want to tank any more damage to the front. I rather have my starbase tanking damage. There we go. So this might take a while. Try to dodge um, these shots here on this wounded carrier. Yeah, 
not much commentary, we just gotta finish this battle. Ow, that was another big volley. Maybe I can, uh, power two engines here. Okay, well, most of these abilities are worthless for us because I don't really have power capacitors on my ships. So I'm not able to, you know, just throw away all my power to, uh, to these abilities. Y you saw it lasted for, like, only a second. Not very useful. Maybe I need at least one close range brawler. Okay, he's turning his right side towards me. I'd be able to get a few missiles off. Nope. Okay, we'll, we'll take a look at what text we have and then decide on if there's anything we want to research. Or any ship designs we want to build for a, a close range brawler, so we're not stuck with this situation once again. Then again, it, it could just be building more frigates, and, or sorry, more corvettes and using them to clean up. Okay, well now these guys are occupied, my missiles might be able to get through. Nope, nope, still not. Oh, maybe now. Nope. Maybe? Yes, finally got a missile through. You can see these missiles do a lot more damage, but... Uh, it's very hard to get them to hit. Unless you fire a crap ton of them. Okay, well, this ship isn't firing any more weapons now, so... It'll die in another few seconds. And of course my carriers only have flat cannons, so that, that's why they do almost inconsequential amount of damage. Just for their pea shooters. They shoot down enemy missiles and stuff. As you see, like, one missile does ten times as much damage as one entire volley from my carriers. And finally, uh, the Corsi fleet is defeated. We didn't lose anything except for a few Corvettes. Whatever. And, all, of course, all of our fighters, but, I mean, I can't really help that. I mean, I actually do kind of like our Corvette design. I think human ships are a bit smaller than average. At least it feels like it. Okay, well, we gotta sit here and repair for a bit anyways, and keep building more Corvettes. Also need to build a few more frigate or fighters, it looks like. Or, not that nah, freighters. Give me the F-words in this game. Oh, they got another fleet that wants to attack me. Most of these are just transports, though, and the uh, exploration frigate. So I think I'll head out to uh, intercept. Ah, you want peace, eh? I want an automated factory. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think we're, we're gonna have peace then. So sad. Okay, plus one research and masters are just running around terrorizing my Oh, they might bombard this planet. That would be annoying. But really, I can't do anything about it. Just gonna sit around and repair. Repair 11. Uh, before it repair, it require 100 turns to fully repair a destroyed ship module. Move a fleet to friendly town. Speed repair by 5%. Call on these little facilities such as orbital stations and shipyards to further increase repair speed by 5% each. Yeah, right. Eventually, it'll get repaired. Very long, eventually. Choose research. Um, well, they have automated factory. Actually, maybe I should go for Xeno assimilation because eventually I'll reach that point. Grab the VR net. 
they're just blockading this planet. Which is making food here for the time being. And then here, I think I could put another person onto Sai instead. Actually, now, nah. otherwise, I'll start bleeding too much money. Alright, fish a new explorer here. Let's start moving this way. The ship is gonna run out of fuel. Okay, next, Xeno Assimilation. What do you want for peace? Are you gonna offer me a bit more than just dirty? No, I think I have to beat you guys to a pulp. So I'm gonna have to do, unfortunately. Well, the good thing about fighters is they'll be good against a star base. Let's see what weapons I have. Uh, fusion beans would be good because they don't have any... These enemies don't have any type of... A shielding yet. I could make like a, a fusion beam brawler. It's a bit small. It's difficult to stick in what I want to stick in. I don't really want these on the side. That's not gonna be that useful. Here I just, I just have artillery. No, it's still fire on an arc. All of these would always fire on an arc. I, I'd still want uh, rockets then. If I was to do it this way. Alright, and then a uh, little bit of armor in front. Let's get rid of this, the stick armor here. But one power here. Systems, engines. We want as much engines as we can because these are going to be our brawlers. And. I guess more power here. I could stick in a fighter bay as well. I mean, I don't really have anything else to stick in here to be honest. But then again, I kind of need the power. Let's actually put in a few, a few fuel cells as well. And then some ordnance. Yeah, actually, let's put a bunch of fuel cells in. Okay, good. Making enough power. Oh no, I need a capacitor somewhere. Down the center. Then I would run out of ammo pretty damn quickly. Put some armored uh, ordnance storage on the edge. 78 seconds. Would like to fire a little bit longer than that. 103 seconds. We'll call it the, uh, what should we call it? I mean, humans always have, like, chips named after names. We'll call it the, the James Class Brawler. Actually, we don't, we don't use that. We'll call it the, it's a cruiser. We'll call it a battle cruiser. Because the battle cruisers, you know, they're like, they have a bunch of weapons, but not enough armor for it to be classified as a battleship or something like that. I don't know. I'm not an expert, but... Actually, why don't I give it a different paint job? Ooh, I like the last one, but I skipped over it. Then I can go back to it. That looks like fucking America right there. Alright, let's finish this pollution and build one uh, James class. Actually, that'll be take too long anyways. Ugh. Yeah, I should just stick to building Corvettes then. It was a nice de nice design, but I don't know how useful it's gonna be.
feel like I should just co start colonizing more. Or really just attack the Vofar. Open borders. Do it in a few turns. Okay, nah, another useless system, more or less. Okay, my problem is the Vofar is really, really starting to expand. That's pretty scary. Maybe I should leave the Cortezine alone then. I'll just try to get peace with them. Grab as much as I can. Which probably isn't that much. Maybe like an inconsequential amount of money. Okay, I can get 16. Fine, fair enough. Let's try to grab a few of their techs. Uh, I don't know, maybe I could give them something a little bit less than that. I mean, I don't mind giving them brain pal because these guys are naturally bad scientists anyway, so. Not like I'm gonna help them out that much, but I prefer to give them something a little bit crappier. But I don't think I have anything crappier. Yeah, okay, I'll just give you this then. A little bit more than I wanted to. You drove a hard, hard bargain. Okay, we're finishing more Corvettes here on our crappy planet. Ill equipped to do production, but whatever. Maybe I should grab a few of these random ass barren planets. Just to, just to, you know, make a border around them. Or I should get a, maybe a fueling station. Is there anything? Nah. Could just uh, snatch one of these plants off of them. I think I, I think I'll do that. I mean, I got plenty. I got enough relations that they won't care for a while. I think. Snatch one of their planets off. You know, stop. Maybe uh, have a nice forward base to attack them from later on. I just want to like ninja their capital because this is the early game. Most of the. Uh, most of the enemy firepower will be out on their capital anyways. An enemy economy. Okay, I need to start taxing a little bit. Just 5%, that's alright. Oh, great. Another crystal fleet. I can only defend depending on where it ends up. I don't know if I want to finish that star base there anymore because of that. Might delay it. Depending on the situation. Oh, they're just headed for there. That's okay. Um, let's work on, I mean, what do I want to work on this crappy planet and research lab? Colony ship done, great. Now, yeah, which one of these, uh, plants do I want to take? Acidic atmosphere, probably not that great. I think I'll just take this one. It's radiated, but it's three population for ultra rich. That's not too bad, just... Drop as many people there as I can. 
Okay, okay. I don't know why the game lags every so often. Usually after a tech. Okay. Pay trivia a little bit longer. But this is probably gonna be the last time I want to pay tribute to them. Otherwise, it starts to get a bit prohibitive for how much I care about these guys. Mission Cloning Center, and then we'll uh, swap to a maybe two James class battle cruisers here. Uh, what do we want next? Automated factory? Or cruise missiles, that could be a good weapon to have. I think I'll go for the automated factory first. Let's take a look at this system here. It's a nice swamp planet with world trees. Poor, of course, but whatever. These guys do have some techs to offer, but I don't know if I want to give them disruptor cans. That's a bit scary. Orbital shipyard, uh, must, you guys must have something else to give me. Maybe I'll just do a, a, a quick trade. Okay, there we go. Grab aeroponic farm. For uh, when I start colonizing these barren planets, I don't want to extend my supply lines too, too far. My cloning center is done in one third. Okay, you guys can build an orbital habitat. And then you guys can build. I guess a star base at so so physicianer. Because you guys are near the front of my empire. Actually, I need a pollution reprocessor first. Well, he said done on Earth, so now I'll be working on those James class battle cruisers. Um, I could just work on like Imperial Banks. I already finished that here, though. I don't know. What do I want? Nothing much I want on these small, these like asteroid planets. We're just looking around, continuing to scale around their, their empire. There's another corvette here, good. Uh, we can support seven more corvettes. And all of our ships are basically fully repaired. Fleet maintenance. Okay, we're not paying anything in fleet maintenance. It's all colony maintenance. Uh, another useless system. There's so many useless systems in this game. It's very rare to find a semi-useful system. Yes, let's colonize this planet. Work on a rover bait. And then what I'll do is move two Earthlings here. To my new uh, planet here. I was hoping to improve my income by making some more food, but nothing changed. I think a after on this plan, I want an Imperial Bank before I finish this orbital habitat. Oops. Oh, a, a nice leader. Desert leader, ec economic leader, and a Dornish noble. You can participate in ground assaults. I don't have the money. All right. That's just my uh, scouting fleet. Okay, these crystals are finally left. Good. I finished my first James class battle cruiser in a second. I think I'll grab two of them and then I'll launch my attack on the Volfar. Plus one experience levels on Earth. Okay, you're gonna offer me something. For this, that's that I care to give you. Okay, you can actually go over your tolerance now, but um, if you go over your tolerance, you, you lose approval. 
That's right, that, that was in the latest patch. We have Tabby Fish on Elia builds. Maybe I'll build a few uh, Corvettes here as well. Okay, great. Keep building um, your star base here. Need to tax. It's because humans are corrupt, so it's hard to uh, make money as humans. There is something here to allow me to. Nope, not really. Okay, let's grab plasma fuel cells because that's an easy tech we could grab in a few turns. Could be a little useful as well. Okay, they got quite a few small fleets here. So they have they have a um, planet here that I want to take over. Actually, that's where their capital is. Now the main question is, do I have enough to, to defeat them? Wow, we're bleeding a lot of money now. Because I gotta be a little bit more selective what I want to build. Otherwise, my, my plants are going to be frozen to a standstill. I mean, I could just have more food producers. Is it gonna make me more money now? Nope, that's weird. Okay, well, now we're working on this Imperial Bank. This land should give me a lot of money. It's all these rover bays, but I, I need them. It's not like I can just not decide to have them. I guess I just build Imperial Banks everywhere. Hidden system, okay. Nothing there as well. Same way, okay. Um, uh, fish one Corvette. Send you here. Oh, it's actually two Corvettes. One of these is uh, another Explorer. Uh, I think I'll leave my Explorer here just so it can refuel. Then no need to build any more of these. What do you want to build here? I guess just trade goods. I don't really want to build anything here. Okay, fishing our James class battle cruiser. Why aren't you guys refueling? Okay, I'll move you to uh, this system here. Okay, level four. That's pretty good. That's good on um, brawler ships, so that and missile ships, so. I have very high accuracy. Um, I guess mass drivers. And then class one shields. I think it's time to pay a visit to the Vofar. Let's start moving to over here. See if I grab a Corvette. Maybe we can lower taxes a little bit. 15%. What do I want to build on Earth? An Imperial Bank, of course. Finish our star base on Sophistiner pretty soon. Want to uh, move another person. Maybe to Science. And then you guys work on Imperial Bank as well next. Actually, have you built the... Uh, yeah, you have. I want to see if they had built soil enrichment. Built that probably a very, very long time ago. Okay, I exceed my command limit by one. Whatever. I'm not gonna cry over that. Okay, let's get a few more scientists. Okay, maybe I need a few more freighters, it looks like. Transfer food. Do that. 
Uh, are you gonna offer me something I care about? Xeno mine? That's not too bad. But I don't think I would give you, uh, no, okay, but you don't tolerate me enough. I think I'll just take that from you guys. How's that sound? Okay, they're starving, but they're at max population, whatever else. Don't care. Uh, Goss Cannon next. Hello. You guys want to declare war on me again? I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think you guys learned enough from last time what happened when you declared war on me. But you know what? We, we can trade a little bit first. You something, some useless text. Oh, never mind. You want more? No, I'm not gonna give you shields. Uh, if I want brain power, you gotta give me some resources as well. Maybe a treaty. Trade rights. Just kidding. Okay, I don't care about your shit. Fuck that. Again, another Corvette out. Be able to get our Corvette out in time after this bank. I'll work out Starbase here next as well. Okay, now we're starting to make a little bit more money to lower my taxes again. Okay, and you merge here as well. So it's two more Corvettes. And then two turns I finish another Corvette and then we're ready to attack. Just go for their capital. Okay, finish a bunch more Imperial Banks. Awesome. Exactly what I want to finish. Uh, orbital Habitat next on Earth. Actually, are you guys maxed out on population? Pretty soon you will be. Take a look at self position there. 9 out of 14. Um, Alright, let's move some scientists here then. Because Earth, I have my cloning bay, I don't need all these people over on Earth. Should build infantry base down here just in case I need some ground soldiers. Oh, a colonizer. Hmm, I don't think so. Intercept with our explorer. Prepare to attack. Or you plan to attack me? How oh, interesting. Oh, whoops. Never mind. Now my fleet just wasted its turn. They don't like me anymore. That's alright. I don't like paying you guys tribute. Okay, well, they declared war on me. I didn't declare war on them. I just asked them for some of their artifacts, but they chose to say no, and look what happens. Now, now, hopefully they die. Ah, lag. They got a pretty big fleet on their home world, but mainly it's just Corvettes. Uh, if it doesn't work out, I'll just retreat. I think it'll be a pretty close fight. If I lose, yeah, like I said, if I lose all my fighters, I'll just retreat. Which isn't too bad. Oh, they all have their star base here. Perfect. Be a bit easier for me. Alright. Launch. We'll just target the closest ships that we can. I think we got this. Depends on how many... Um, it's always going to depend on how many uh, close combat weapons they have to attack us with. Okay. Pretty good. Oh yeah, these guys are very squishy as well. 
Okay, but they have a lot of point defense lasers to be a bit annoying. We're trying to dodge their missiles. And yeah, it's definitely lagging, <laughs> but that's all right. My computer can handle this. It's not my computer is not that old. I'm running around to their back line, trying to take out some of these ships. I have no idea what's going on, but I think they're losing more things than I am. That's what matters. Start taking down a few of their bigger ships. I still see a few of my Corvettes alive. That's good. Yep, these guys are getting massacred now. And like I said, I have no idea what happened, but I still see 10 of my Corvettes alive. That's good. Means I decisively won this fight. And it looks like it's their last survivor. Soon to be dead and now dead. That was a good fight. We didn't... Do we even lose anything? Because I don't know how many Corvettes I had. I be... Uh, uh no... Okay, I did lose uh, one Corvette, and, and that slaughter. That's not too bad. Take it. Oh, okay, IVF, Imperial Volfar Fleet. That makes sense. Okay, now we gotta do one more fight. And then we gotta do a ground assault. But once they take over the Volfar, we should be pretty superior. Uh, compared to these guys. I launched the fighters. There we go. Some of my uh, ships are a little damaged. You see, this ship isn't moving very fast. It's James class Valkyries. It. That's all right. The starbase isn't gonna last very long against all my fighters. One thing fighters seem to be good against, at least. Actually, my fighters are pretty effective against the Vofar because their ships are very squishy. Against the Corzi, not so much because they have a lot of flak cannons, a lot of laser point defense laser cannons as well. Against the Volfar, they, yes, they did have a lot of laser cannons, but uh, most of them were too busy fighting my Corvettes as well. So I, I think I had a good damage dis distribution against the enemy, which allowed me to win the last fight without many casualties. So that means against the Cortezine, uh, I won a bunch of artillery ships. Against the Volfar, I could just build a bunch of spammy fighters, as I have been building. Uh, then we'll do the ground assault, and that, that'll probably be it for the episode once I finish that up. Oh, god damn it, I don't want another rift! No, oh, they don't have any defenses. Here's our Xeno mine. And we don't need these guys as scientists because they suck at science. Your plant doesn't have, like, crap on it. All right, we'll stay here for a turn, um, just to refit, refit and rearm before I forget, and then we'll keep it uh, moving forward. There we go. Move to Apatus. But uh, I think that'll be it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. If you'd like to continue supporting this channel, please click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. Xerambear, signing out.